Hello guys and welcome back to another eGPU video. Today I'll be going over the eGPU setup that I went over in my first video, but this time instead of doing Windows I'll be going over OS X and how to make it work with OS X and the pros and cons of having OS X over Windows and those things. Okay, as you guys might be able to see here, I have an eGPU over here. This is the eGPU that I built over here um, in the first video that I did for this uh, series. And it is just sitting right back there um, running and you guys may be able to hear it. I'm not sure if you can, but it is running. And I also have here my HP monitor. Um, it's old, it's like 2005. And then I have my MacBook Air here and it is off. And then I have my Apple keyboard, which I'll be using because the uh, this display will be the only one powering the eGPU, um, being powered by the eGPU. This one will not be powered at all, so I will just close it and I will not be using it throughout um, the whole entire video, except for during boot up, of course. So we're going to boot it up right now. Of course, you will want to make sure that your eGPU is set up and that it's all working as I showed in my first video and I will be doing a remake of that video if you guys wanted some more clarification um, better film video um, see it's already booted up and everything's ready to go it is running directly through Thunderbolt 2 well since this is a 2013 MacBook it only has Thunderbolt 1 but um, in uh, any other case with a MacBook um, 2014 and above it'll be uh, Thunderbolt 2. So um, my keyboard should be hooked up and it is. So I'm going to type in my password. Okay, so I'm just logging in and everything's working fine. It is running off the eGPU directly and I'll show you guys the cables soon. And I'll show you guys the cables. Uh, actually, I'll just show you guys the cables right now. So here are the cables and as you guys will probably see uh, it is connected directly um, through the HDMI um, and you guys will be seeing that I'll be doing that in a separate clip okay so everything's working fine okay guys so uh, I got a different frame here and we're logged in and we're just gonna go to about this Mac say about this Mac and as you guys can see here uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950 and the amount of memory that I have. Um, uh, so it is MacBook Air 13 inch mid 2013. This is the processor. You know, it's a it's a real MacBook Air, and it has an NVIDIA GeForce graphics. Of course, this will only work on this display. If I have this open. This display down here will be on, but it will not actually um, be using the NVIDIA graphics. Um, it'll say it is here, but it really is not. It is actually using um, the Intel graphics here and GeForce GTX graphics here. So you're wondering probably how can I do this with my MacBook or my Mac, whatever Mac it is, how can I do this and how can I get my eGPU um, set up with it with OS X? So what you're going to do is you're going to search, you're going to search automated eGPU OS 10, and uh, you know you don't have to search it. I'll actually just leave a link below, and you're going to look for a script automating the installation of eGPU on OS 10. And uh, so yeah, you're going to go there, and you're going to go scroll down, let's scroll down, and you're going to see um, this guy. He's saying uh, Nando suggested me to create a new thread. Okay, and uh, detects, so he made, uh, well, I don't know about this guy, but somebody made basically a, uh, it's a automated uh, thing that a, you basically will just throw in this command and it will install a automation software to basically, uh, it's just a quick tool to um, edit some files for you and basically get your um, eGPU running without you having to um, edit uh, files in NVIDIA's web driver and those things. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to do that and you're going to follow the link or you can just search for it um, but I'm gonna leave a link below and you guys will just follow it um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna say it's gonna say download the script on your desktop so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your terminal um, if you don't know how to do that you're going to say command space and you're gonna type in terminal um, and then you're gonna press enter um, but for me I already have it up and uh, so yeah we're gonna say we're gonna copy this and uh, and we're going to follow these steps. Hey guys, so since it's been a month, I can't really remember exactly the uh, steps that I took to get this set up, but um, going off of memory, I do remember that you had to enter a special command um, in rebooting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this bit. Uh, see this guy, Nate McGraw? You guys are gonna want to look him up if you guys need any extra help. You're going to want to look up Nate McGraw and you're going to look up eGPU setup and build for Mac Pro tutorial and you're going to go to uh, 430 in his video and you're going to watch it um, and he's basically going to say um, to reboot your computer so you're going to hold command R and this is before this you're going to do this all of this um, you're going to want you're going to go through this and if this doesn't work out you're going to want to do this before you go any further and you're going to want to watch this guy's video he's going to tell you to reboot your Mac you're gonna say command R when your Mac is rebooting you're gonna say command R it's going to take you to OS 10 utilities and then I don't wanna I hope I'm not gonna get in trouble for this but basically you're gonna want to um, follow what he's doing and then you're going to say utilities up in the top left corner and you're going to say and you're going to go down to terminal and you're going to click on it and it's going to take you to your terminal and then you're going to enter this command and you're going to say CSR util disable semicolon reboot and I'll put that in the video you're going to say CSR util disable semicolon reboot and then you're going to enter in that command and um, once your computer is um, done doing that command you're going to um, it may restart your computer for you or you may have to do it yourself and then you are going to um, go into your computer and then you're going to go back to my video and you're going to go to this link as I was just saying before and you're going to redo all these steps and then um, you should be all good. Make sure that your GPU is hooked up the entire time and everything should work out fine. Um, and your GPU should be set to go. You may not notice exactly very much performance difference and this is what I'm going to talk about um, with pros and cons and the difference between using an eGPU on OS 10 versus Windows. Okay, so uh, here we go. Okay, so here's the problem with using an eGPU in OS 10. When you are using an eGPU in OS 10, it will be much slower than Windows. I do not know why at all, um, but it will be, and it's going to be very frustrating compared to Windows. Um, I noticed that when my eGPU is plugged in, um, I don't know if this is because my GPU is weak or if it's just because that's how it works with OS 10. But when I have my eGPU hooked up in OS 10 and I am in Final Cut Pro and I am trying to export a video, the export takes very like way longer, like probably an hour. I don't have benchmarks, like proper benchmarks to show you guys, but um, <laughs> exporting a video in Final Cut Pro will take maybe an hour when it should be taking like 10 minutes or less like it does when I don't have the eGPU hooked up. So it's utilizing that GPU and I don't know why it's us using the, G the eGPU if it's just going to make a slower export. And so, um, you know, that's just something I want you guys to be aware of. It won't be, it won't like make your computer better necessarily. Um, and I don't have reasons to give you guys these. Um, like I don't have reasons to tell you guys why it's like that but it is and that's 
one reason why you might not want to use this. Also, um, playing video games, uh, when I'm playing StarCraft, um, I can only play uh, maybe high, and even then the frames sometimes skip um, in StarCraft at high settings. Um, but when I'm in OS X, I can play on maximum settings all the way up, and it'll play perfectly fine. So there's obviously a performance difference, and I don't know why, but it is very different to play, um, you know, or to just use your eGPU in OS X versus Windows. So if you're going to do an eGPU setup, I very strongly recommend that you only use it for Windows because it won't really affect um, your OS X experience um, as much as you might think it would. Um, but it does indeed affect it a little bit. So if you're into um, gaming and those things on OS X um, and you want better performance, you can try the eGPU route, but it is not my recommendation. I really think you should just build a Hackintosh and you have much better performances probably or um, just get a better Mac. Um, you know, because an eGPU setup, it, it just won't give you the power that you think you're going to be getting like you do with uh, Windows. So that's just something I want you guys to all be aware of. And uh, I hope that this video was descriptive enough. Um, I didn't want to reboot my computer and because uh, I'm working on my videos right now. But um, I hope I, showing you guys that guy's video was enough. If you guys uh, needed any help, I'll leave his video in the description. And you guys can go to uh, 4.30 in the timer, and uh, that's right where he reboots. And um, But yeah, I'll, I'll leave the command there. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep this short, and I hope that it'll be enough for you guys. If you guys need uh, any more uh, answers, and if you guys need me to remake this video, I can, probably. Um, I'm actually selling my MacBook Air, and I'm getting a MacBook Pro, so you guys can expect more eGPU videos um, with... Thunderbolt 2 instead of Thunderbolt 1 as I'm using here so big performance differences probably and uh, gaming and everything will just be a lot more comfortable on this MacBook Pro that I'm getting which will have Thunderbolt 2 and it'll be awesome <laughs> and I can't wait to get it I'll have Retina display and I'll show you guys an eGPU video on that as well and I'm also going to remake the first eGPU video I did so stay tuned for that you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video later